Well, hello everybody. It is the end of a week, and uh, what a week it's been. Uh, I wish I could say that was true. Uh, I don't. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not doing an arena video this time because I wanted to do something different, which is a end of the week video where just talking about you know what's been going on, how the week in Woda has been going, what's going to be coming up for the following week because. As you may have noticed, there hasn't been any JP live streams lately, and there hasn't been really too much uh, to talk about in Wotiv lately. Uh, that is mainly because, I mean, we're just in the middle of it on the JP side. I think, you know, with Global, it's always like, ah, we have a general idea of what's coming up and what will be available and what won't be available. You know, right now is a little bit of a lull. I think a lot of people are checking out uh, Nino Kuni, playing some other games. And obviously this is about E3 time, E3 time, you know, so there's quite a lot of video game conferences coming out. Uh, there's even a Final Fantasy VII uh, 25th anniversary stream coming at the end of this week, which is really excited. I'm actually really excited for it. I'm looking forward to being let down, you know, tonight or this morning, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, we have the Xbox press conference coming up, which is rumored to be getting FF7 Remake, and Persona 4 and Persona 5. These are all just rumors, of course, and a GoldenEye Remake. And so there's a lot of things going on in here in Wotiv. You know, it's just, this This has my, been my life. But what you're looking at right now has been, uh, well, my Wotiv week is just event, essentially, you know, farming this event, trying to get things, but I do, you know, it hasn't always just been that. It's been uh, a bit of a mistake week. Uh, part of this is like, you know, looking at the end of the week and figuring out what I did right, what I did wrong. And this week I definitely did more wrong in Wotiv uh, because I didn't follow my own advice. You know, uh, as, as best we tr I try to guide people, you know, this is a game and we know exactly where we get stuff from. I tried on the Tetra Selfie banner more than I should, and I got just trounced by it. Absolutely trounced. Uh, proving what I already knew that 90 cost vision card banners are the worst and don't go on them unless unless you're going to pity. I mean, that's, that's the moral of the story, I think. Uh, you know, you got to be prepared to go to pity because if you don't get that vision card, you're going to just feel really bad at the end of it. And that's how I feel. You know, I'm a pretty big fan of New Glassy, but, you know, this week has just been uh, piling on some of the issues that I've had with Woda for the last little while. And, and that's what this is. This is this video is about just talking about my experience in Woda over the course of the week. And I've been getting, you know, having less success in Arena recently. I've been having uh, less success in Gotcha. I haven't been... Uh, and a lot of my new stuff, while is really good, you know, I'm really happy I got Glassy super quickly. It, it's just, it feels really, like, unsuccessful because, you know, this week already I'm seeing 120 Glassies. In Arena, I'm seeing a lot of variety in Arena, which is great, but I'm feeling like I'm just losing um, my my advantage in arena and that's been frustrating that has been frustrating because my ff13 units are just you know there's uh two of them and now there's actually three this week because i went trying to get a few more shards and i ended up getting a snow which eh, i mean yay I, I guess i can use the shards i got from his gold banner and i can use uh I can potentially use them in the future, but it's just like between three tactics characters and three Final Fantasy 13 characters now, my resources are just completely gone, completely spoken for. And, you know, it's nice to have things to build, but all of tactics and all of 13 has actually been just way too overwhelming. It's been way too much. I've spread myself way too thin and I don't necessarily regret getting the characters or anything, but it's just I'm being pulled in so many directions and I'm just unable to focus myself. I'm unable to really feel like I have the time to do anything. You know, I can't even do much that I wanted to do 
from all my rune farming last month because the game is just constantly autoing this. And to top that all off, there's still the issues of on the JP side of just, oh my God, like the game crashes. Like it's not even just a blue stacks issue anymore. And it hasn't been for a while. I've, I've neglected to talk about the fact that app switching, even for the smallest amount of time now with the JP version, just crashes the game on phones. And it's just so frustrating. And the frustration has been building up for weeks now. And here I am still just like farming this event constantly, trying to hold above 5,000 rank for just anything. And I'm hitting a boiling point. It's just not fun right now. And that's that's kind of the thing. Like I have thought about this uh, for the last few weeks and I'm taking a small step away from Wotive. I'm not going to be streaming Wotive as much. For basically June 15th till the end of the month, I, I'm still going to cover all the YouTube videos and everything like that, but I, I think I, I need to take a little bit of a break, especially away from streaming. And besides, there isn't that many people around streaming, and if people want to come chat with me about Wotive stuff, I'm still fine with that. But playing the game as much as I have, just everything that happened with 13 and tactics, I mean, that's going to be the, the end point of this video, is just me saying to Globalers, really decide if you want to go with 13 or tactics. Both is just way too much, and, you know, even if you do know that, it's a friendly reminder. But yeah, this week I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff. I'm looking forward to the Xbox conference, just on the case, case by case that there's going to be some Silk Song news. Clown makeup on, uh, you know, Hollow Knight is one of my favorite games ever. So Silk Song getting some news would be amazing, very unlikely. Or GoldenEye getting a remake this week, that would be really cool. Maybe it gets shadow dropped. Who knows? Uh, Final Fantasy VII, oh man, if only we got a part two. I mean, we got a 16 trailer recently. If we got an, an announcement, like the first trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, oh my god, it'd be over the moon. I'm expecting Ever Crisis and some merchandise and really not too much from a 10 minute conference, but hey, I, I think that's something I would definitely want to stream or talk about on my stream later. Yeah, I've just been enjoying so much playing uh like god of war for the playstation 4 i've been enjoying playing some elden ring recently playing a whole bunch of different games and uh what have just hasn't been it because of general frustration and i'm going to talk about this more in some youtube videos coming up but yeah this is just a kind of a diary entry for this week of june um i got snow Yay, if only there were resources to go around to actually build him. Well, shoot. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick nine minute little video. You know, what are you looking forward to this week? Do you see any cool video game trailers? Doesn't have to be about what would have. Shoot, shoot something in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, coming up week, I think it's gonna be pretty minor. I'm, I'm expecting a new character to be announced for the what of side, but I think it's gonna be a very, you know, maybe even just a 90 cost character. Uh, maybe a cheap SSR character, uh, free one for a different element. And, and then in July, I think things are going to pick up again with summer units. So, yeah, hopefully you like the video. And if not, well, you watched it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. See you next time.